Simon Fisher. Welcome, welcome to Knowing Me, Alan Partridge, Knowing You, John Fisher, Aha. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh-huh. And, and you, Simon Fisher, Aha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Not, not so loud into the microphone. Though. Now, Simon, you are a fellow of Oxford University and you're a child prodigy. As a child genius, what do you do? What do you actually do in the day? Well, I don't exactly do, I, I, I am. I, I see each day as a, as a sort of gift that is to be unwrapped, which I do in my own unique way. And, of course, you, you are very unique. Well, one cannot have gradations of uniqueness when either is or is not unique. Right. <laughs> well, no, you, you know, you're right, you're right. I mean, I mean you, you couldn't be more right. Well, <laughs> one is either right or not. Well, no, you are, you're right, and, and, and so am I. Um, uh, <laughs> Now, John Fisher, yes. um, or Simon's dad, as you're more commonly known. Um, <laughs> Simon yes. is obviously a lot of fun. Yes. Um, I can see that, <laughs> see that with his little quips. But um, <clears throat> when did you first realise that Simon was abnormal? Uh, <laughs> uh, gifted, you mean, really? A- abnormally gifted. Mm. Um, well, it's when Simon was about 14 months old. Um, I remember looking at him there in his cot, and um, I-, I said to him, uh, who does Daddy love, Simon? Who? Who? And uh, guess what Simon said? What? Whom does Daddy love? Whom? <laughs> Whom? That's, that's, he picked up on my grammatical error with his very first word, and uh, <laughs> that's when I knew he was going to be something special. <laughs> yeah, my, my son Fernando wasn't quite as original as that. He said, uh, he said Daddy which somehow I prefer. (laughs) Of course, he he was calling me father soon afterwards. Not daddy. Daddy's a vulgarisation. Oh, yeah. Oh, he says, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) John. John, do you ever sit alone at night by the fire with your head in your hands and think to yourself, God have mercy on my soul. I have spawned a monster. I... (laughs) I've created Frankenstein. No, no, no. I mean, Simon's a wonderful child. No, never, never. Well, that's nice. I'm sure that Frankenstein's parents found it within their hearts to love him. Interjection. Uh, there is no such monster as Frankenstein. Uh, there is, actually. It's, it's, it's in a film and it's a certificate X. You wouldn't have seen well, it. Well, I've read the book by Mary Shelley and Frankenstein is the name of a Genevan student who creates Frankenstein's monster. You any good at sport, Simon? Sport induces violence in the common man. Yeah, cobblers. I like sports and I'm not violent. You're just scared of breaking your glasses. I don't wear glasses. Well, you should. (laughs) I like sport. Um, In fact, uh, I represented my school at uh, the London School Swimming Championships when I was 15. Um, Your bronze medal will probably come in a bit handy because, you know, if if, uh, Simon fell into a canal, you could dive in and save him. (laughs) Yes, I certainly could. I wouldn't be so stupid as to fall in. No, but you might get pushed in. (laughs) Why don't you just say what you mean, Mr Partridge, is that you think that I deserve to be pushed in a canal, so if you think I do, then who do you think should push me in? Who? Who? Whom? Whom? Uh, No, uh, in in this context, whom, which is the uh, accusative dative, is not applicable. Is he right? Yes, he's right. (laughs) Why don't you just say what you mean, which is that you would like to push me into a canal, Mr Partridge? All right, then. I, Alan Partridge, would like to push you, Simon Fisher, into a very deep, disused canal. There, it's not so difficult, is it? No. In fact, I feel a lot better. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very honest. Aye, sir, to be honest as this world goes is to be one man picked out of 10,000. That's very worthy of Shakespeare, that. Very good. It is Shakespeare. Well, it's, well, it's, well, it's better than that. It's worthy of the great bard. <laughs> Have you ever seen Hamlet? Uh, Simon yes, Hester, yes. Please. I saw it with Alan Rickman. Who did you see it with? My wife, Carol. <laughs> no, no, no. Who's playing the lead? Hamlet. Uh, oh, yes, the great actor Bert Hamlet. Simon, no, which on, actor was playing the lead? Um, uh, yes? Bernard Cribbins. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
Oh, I don't know. It was a long time ago. It was before you were born. You wouldn't remember it. Have you seen Citizen Kane? Yes, I've watched every episode. Power to the people. Yes. Have you seen Beauty and the Beast? Yes. John Cocteau's? No. Have you read Metamorphosis? Yes. Who's it by? No, I haven't read it. I've... Have you read any Dickens? No. Do you go to the bank? No. Can you play no. chess? No. Do you know any Russian? Uh, no. What, what about you? I'll you. 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 Right, right, you. Have, have you got any pubic hair? <laughs> No, I'm 37 and I've got plenty. All right? Can you do this? Ah. Uh, no, because my voice has Exactly. Broken. Don't forget it. And, and, and uh, one more. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. Really? My name's Simon. Really? It could be Simone. Could be Simone because you no, sound no, like right. a girl. I'm a boy and my yeah. name is Simon. Yeah. You've, you've got something on your shoulder there. <gasps> oh no, you've gone too <gasps> far. You really I apologize. Have to be no, one hits my I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry. My mistake. Apologies. I'm not very good with kids. It's <laughs> Carol's. I've got a bad temper. But you are a little shit. <laughs> that said, that said, thank you for coming on the show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Fishers. Okay, now, if you just want to move chairs... Right. <clears throat> My next guest 